be funny. Okay, let's go. Hey besties, you're welcome to the YouTube channel. If you're an already subscriber, you're welcome back again. And if you're new to my channel, you're just seeing this face for the very first time, you're welcome as well. Yeah, let me just do a quick introduction. My name is Whitney Highway. Um, I do sewing and cutting tutorial. Cutting tutorials um, in form of pattern drafting or freehand, whichever makes um, the cutting more understandable for you or easier for you i do that okay literally i am a fan of easy sewing and cutting yeah and i try as much as possible to make sewing and cutting very easier I try as much as possible to bring it um break it down to its simplest and easier um easiest form yeah both sewing and cutting um whether I'm using the pattern drafting method or the freehand method, I just try as much as possible to make it easier. So, and I also do DIY videos. I also do um, lifestyle videos, uh, motherhood, something, something. <laughs> so, if these are something you like as well, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. So, in this video, we're going to um, learn how to draft out a corset learn about the two parts um corset and the three parts way corset and also if you want to attach um yoke to your corset we're also going to learn how to draft that in this video so it's it's going to be quite a lengthy video but it's going to be what's it yeah extremely worth it and you would not want to miss that for anything so um we all know corset is quite technical um tricky and even though uh, most people have watched it like several times before now but then they still get fear or fearful whenever it comes to drafting out corsets for either their customers or themselves so in this video i'm just going to try as much as possible to explain and break down corsets to its simplest form yay <laughs> so i'm going to do that for you so that you would understand it but one thing you should know is when when um, when it comes to corsets and um, drafting and all of that it's um, the first most important thing is you should um i would die for it you should um have accurate measurements yeah when you're taking your measurements make sure they are very very accurate that is very important you want to make sure of that when it comes to corset making when you have your accurate measurement then you are good to go corset is not difficult and in this video i'm going to show you that it's not difficult so let's just say this video it's more of like um should i say three in one in three in one yeah that's it because we are not just only making a corset i'm going to teach you um when it comes to making a two um two-way corset or two parts corset um teach you um how to get your basque um waistline that's that kind of cone <laughs> waistline and also i'm going to show you how to also get your three part way corset i think that's what it's called also and also i'm going to teach you how to cut your yoke and how to um draft your yoke sorry how to draft your yoke so keep watching and see how it's done guys the first thing you would want to do is to draft out your basic bodies for easier understanding and in doing so i'm going to mark out the shoulder yeah and then from that shoulder point I'm going to mark out the ham o which is eight inches mind you the shoulder divided by two then you add half an inch for the sewing allowance so from there here yeah, i'm going to mark out the nipple um point or also known as the boss line yeah that's from your shoulder to your nipple um line then from this shoulder as well i'm going to mark out my under bust so the under bust is actually 15 inches that's from the shoulder to underneath the bust that is under bust so i'm going to mark out the 15 inches as well so i'm just going to use this ruler now to connect so you would understand way better yeah so i'm going to connect this shoulder to this arm o i'm just going to draw a straight line yeah 
end, I'm going to do the same for this bust line or nipple line. And I'll do the same for this under bust as well. So as I've already stated, from this under bust to your waist is 3 inches. You had 3 inches to the under bust to get your waist line yeah so i'll be adding the three inches if you've watched my videos before you would know that's how i always do it and it always gives you the accurate um draftings <laughs> let me put it like that so i'm adding these three inches to the honda bust to get my waistline and i'm just going to use this ruler to straighten it out so even if you don't have a ruler you can actually just use your hand to straighten it. it's just way to get a straight line that's just the purpose so after this the next thing is i'm going to mark out the total length i want for this blouse or for this corset so the total length i want is actually 24 including the basque including for the basque uh, waistline is it the basque or the basque <laughs> the basque waist um waistline so everything is just going to be to uh, 24 the total major um length yeah so i'm just going to mark that out for you to see 24. so i'm just going to use this ruler to straighten it out so i can get a straighter line so i have done this the next step is i am going to now take out my curves draft out the exact measurements yeah so in doing that you can either um, use um, take the bust measurements here or you can do so here but let me just connect this line here because this is the chest line as well that's this line this arm all line just connect it straight this is the chest line and it's required in corset making and some other kind of styles so let me just indicate it, it indicates first chest line then this is the bust line or nipple line then this is the under bust then this is the waist line then this of course you know is the total line <laughs> so this is it so the next thing is I'm just going to start taking out my measurement, the circumference measurement on the line. So you can either take the bust um, circumference on the chest line or on the bust line, whichever is okay and um, fine. So for this, the bust measurement is um, 10 inches. So I'll be marking out um, 10 inches. Then I'll be adding 3 inches allowance. So all through, I'm going to be adding three inches allowance when I'm uh, marking out the circumferences. I'm going to be marking out three, giving them three inches allowance. I hope you understand. So on this under bust, I have eight point five. I'll mark that out. Then I'll add three inches. You actually get that by dividing your number by four. That's how you get it. So on this your waistline, um, this waistline, I'm going to mark out. Um, nine inches which is my waist measurement the waist circumference then i had it three inches so i'm just going to connect the line so when you divide your circumference by four then you had three inches so that's just it so for getting this basque waistline um there are two things involved if you um wanted the normal way you just had one inch to it that's the normal length that you're seeing right now you add one inch to it but if you want it far from your waist you can as well add half an inch or one inch it all depends on you making it two inch it all depends on you you can add two inch to your waistline or you can add one inch to your waistline whichever is okay but if you want exactly this picture you add one inch to your waistline then from there you would connect to your waist and um, sorry to the total length not your waist to the total length so that's just it for that so i'm going to use this ruler to connect 
So I'm going to be um, connecting from the one inch from the waistline. So I'm just going to connect like so. So it's actually very easy. It's fun to do. So I'm just trying to get um, a good line. Should I say a good line? So this is it, guys. So I'm going to cut this out so you would understand um, better. So I'm going to cut this out. So I'm just going to cut this out so you would understand better. Yeah. Because I don't want any form of confusion. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut it out. And then I would show you guys once I um once I'm done cut, cutting out this line like so. Then I would get to add curve. Okay. Um I have cut it out here as you can see. So you can actually use this to draft out your back basic bodies before you start drafting out your main corset. All you have to do is to remove the cut of the chest line to the shoulder and add two inches to the center back for zip allowance. But if you are not putting zip allowance, you deduct um, one inch or two inches depending on how wide you want your loop to be Yes, from the center back. So I hope it's understand but if you don't understand it i'll drop a link on the description box so you'd understand better so the next thing i'll do here is i'm going to place my dart so in placing your um that um you can either take from your the major the distance between your right nipple to your left nipple divided by two that is for your dart placement or you can actually use this measurement um which is um the bust circumference divided by 4 minus 1.5 divided by 2 gives you your chest. Now, as you can see on this place, I created a, created a curve on the chest, on the arm or rather. So, my dart's placement is um, 4 inches. That's where I'll be placing my dart. So, I'm going to just uh, mark out 4 inches down on each line, as you can see. So, I hope you understand um getting the figure for placing your dart so i'm just going to use um the ruler to mark it down straight if your bust is let's say from 34 to 50 or so you can use four inches for your dart placement if it's 34 below use 3.5 inches Yes, if it's bigger, you use 4.5 or 5 inches for that placement. That's just a summary. So this is it, guys. I have done that. So on this chest line, I am going to extend up by 2 inches on this chest line. The reason for extending up by 2 inches is because um, I want to reduce bust the post exposure. I don't want to expose the bust. Yes, I don't want to expose the bust, the cleavage. Uh -huh. But if you want to reveal show small bobby, you can actually go up by one inch. But if you want to minimize showing bobby, go up by two inches. When I say bobby, I mean the breast. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go up by two inches here on the chest line on this dart line. So I'm just going to go up by two inches. So I'm just going to clean this sides, yes, so that you would understand better whenever any, um, um, okay, let me just leave that, but I'm just going to do it. So this is it, guys. So the next thing is I'm going to be drafting out the dart and drafting that out. I'm putting half an inch on that both side, but I won't be putting on this bust line. You get, I'm be putting half an inch on this bust line. I already put it on the waistline and the under bust line. That's where I'll be putting half an inch on both sides. I'll be marking out half an inch on both sides of the under bust and waistline. But on the bust line, I'm not putting half an inch. Don't know if I'm making sense, but you'll see it when I am marking it out. So for this, the reason why is because um, you want to get the bra up, right? The curve. So that's just the reason why we are stopping at the underbust. If you see, okay, you can see the way I'm marking it out. Half an inch on the right side, 
half an inch on the left side of the waistline and i will do the same on the under burst line as well if you see um the video of how to draft out a corset using a bra cup you see they stopped at the under bust yes so that's the same thing we're also trying to do here but just that we do not have a cup here so we're also trying to form a cup here so that's just the difference you get so from this bust line i'm just going to connect to these lines i'm just going to try and connect to these lines yeah just try as much as possible to get a good line it's going to look like a pencil shape yeah so i'm going to connect down to the total line so just watch the way i am doing this um connection it's really connection <laughs> I'm connecting the lines. So just watch the way I'm doing it. It's very easy. Very, very. So I'm going to do the same for this other line as well. I'm going to connect to the point at this post line. My shock is fucking up. So this is it, guys. I'm going to get a pencil shape at the end of it. So as you can see, it's giving a pencil shape. So you can see I stopped at the um, um, bust line. The point, it, the pencil is pointing to the bust line point. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> so the next thing is I'm going to outline the bra cup. So from this bust line, you're going to take the measurement from the bust line to the other bust. So for here, I have four inches. So I'm just going to use that four inches to mark more of like a U shape that would rest on the under bust. Because if you are using a bra cup, your bra cup rests on your under bust, right? So we are also forming this bra cup and it has to rest on the under bust. And in doing so, you have to take your measurement from your bust line, the distance between your bust line and your under bust to mark out the heart line. It's just an heart line to get the shape, the curve you get. So that's it. So it's gonna give you that kind of um, a U not just you or C facing hop. So I'm going to come in here with um, half an inch. So the reason I'm coming in here with half an inch is because of the space between both bra cups. As you can see on this picture, you can see where the arrow is pointing, this black arrow. So you can see that's why we come in with half an inch. When you open it, it becomes one inch. Yeah. So that's why we come in on this point with half an inch because of this space between both bra cups. So after doing that, I'm going to come on this arm O and I'm going to mark out one fourth of the breast, uh, bust circumference. So remember the bust um, circumference measurement is 40. So 40 divided by four gives you 10. So that's one fourth. So let's say your bust measurement is 30. Um, six or so 36 divided by four i think it will give you nine nine i think nine or eight thereabouts so that's your one fourth of your boss circumference so what we are trying to do is we are trying to get the cup here yeah? the bra cup so that's why you divide the boss circumference by four divide by four your boss circumference so for me i have 10 inches so from this line that i marked out i'm going to go in with one inch so i'm going to come in with one inch on from this um bust um circumference one fourth of bust circumference line then from here i'm going to come down with half an inch this is because we are trying to form a new arm o for the corset so I'm going to come in with half an inch on that point I marked. I came in with um, one inch. I'm going to come down with half an inch. So I'm going to use this. Um, okay. I think I'll just use my ruler to mark out the straight line so you would understand better. So this would be our new arm O. Yay. <laughs> so this is it. It's very simple. See, this is more of like our new arm O. It's very, very simple, guys. So what I'll do is I'll connect from this line to this place I have outlined. 
Yeah, so you can see we're already getting the shape of the bra cup. From this half an inch, I also came in on the center part. I'm going to also form, come down to meet up with that uh, place that I had lined. If you have your um your pattern ruler, the curved one, you can actually use it. It's gonna uh, make it more, make the work more easier for you. Yeah, drawing out the um um lines of the bra cup. It's gonna make it more easier. Sorry about that noise it's gonna make it more easier for you so guys you can see we already have the u shape of the bra cup the next thing is to get the upper part of the bra cup yeah that's the next thing so in doing this we're going to um remember if you do not if you want to expose your bust you can just come in with um sorry go up on the chest now with um one inch but if you do not want to expose your bust, go up on the chest line with 2 inch. So on this point here, where that 2 inches top, I'm going to just mark 1 inch on top of it. You get, so that point is just going to be at the middle of um, the 1 inch. That is half an inch on the side, half an inch on the side. This is because we're going to use this line to um, form the bra cup, top of the bra cup. So always remember if you're... Um, line that is extended from the chest line is one inch then you put this line on that one inch the where it stops where the one inch top but since this is two inch this is it so i'm just going to connect this side to this other side of the new arm o our new found love our new found arm o then the other side i'll connect it to that half an inch that i cut out earlier so this is it guys you can see it's already taking that bra cup shape this is so cute yeah so the next um okay let me just try and shape it out very well for 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 you let me try and shape it out for you so most times especially for bigger bust it's quite difficult to get a bra cup for bigger bust it's quite difficult to get their size so most times people just opt in to just drafting out the bra cup from the scratch from scratch so this is very easy so right now the next thing is if you observe a bra cup as a curve it's curvy so if you cut this out it's not going to be give you that much curve if you cut out the bra cup like this so we're going to go ahead now and you know create a dart for the bra cup that's our next step so i'm going to teach you for the two part um corsets creating a dart for that you're going to go on your chest line and you're going to mark out half an inch on both sides of your chest line. That is to form these two part corsets. If you see it's this picture, you can see one, two. You see the way it is. So that's why it's called two part corset because the bra cup um, has two parts. So this is it. So I'm going to connect this that, um, place that I marked out to this point also on the bust line. So you can see it's very easy. It's very, very simple. So you can see. So if I'm cutting, I'm going to cut out this part. Yeah. So that is. So when you get to sew it, it's going to give you a fine curve. So you can see this one, two. I numbered it one, two. So that's why you see on this picture, it's also numbered one, two. So that's how you get your two parts corset. So that's what it means when, well, that's what it means when they say, two parts corset so it's very simple and easy to understand yeah very simple and so if this is a type of bra cup you want on your corset then this is the way you should create your dart putting half an inch on both the um both side of the chest line and connecting that to your connecting those lines to your bust points yeah, so I'm going to clean this off so that I can show you how you can go about drafting your three part corset. But for this um corset, this particular corset, I'm using a two part corset. But I just want to show you how to go about if you want a three part 
corset. So I just want to show you guys how to go about it. So let me just try and clean this off. Let me just try and clean this off so it won't confuse you guys. Let me clean this um, that that I marked out at the top. So in creating um okay let me i still need to do some cleaning here let me clean these numbers off let me clean these numbers off so guys in um creating your two part corset sorry three parts corset um you can see the picture below so we are trying to create this three parts so you come down from this center point with 2.5 inches 2.5 weighting inches <laughs> you come down with 2.5 inches then on the sides both sides you come down with two inches just the way i'm doing it on both sides you come down with two inches this is because we are trying to achieve this curve that you see this upper curve on this um bra curve that you see on this picture so you can see we are achieving that um we have achieved that curve yeah so the next thing is we're going to place our darts to make it more to make the bra cup more curvier and in um placing your darts you're going to um come down with half an inch on this side yeah half an inch and you're going to do the same on the other side as well that is you come down with half an inch on the right side and on the left side of that line that's line that you did i am going to connect it to this point you see the way i'm doing it you're going to connect it to this point so you're going to cut out this place yeah you're going to cut out this place so this is just it's it's very very easy then you had half an inch at the top because you know you've already cut out half an inch from within so you have to add at the top, add it at the top to replace the one you caught from within. It's really within, within the bra cup. <laughs> so guys, this is it. It's very simple. So this will give you a three-part corset. Very simple. So this is number one. The top part is number one. The other side, number two. And here, number three. So you can see why it's called the three-part corset. So this will give you the three parts corset. So this is it, guys. So it's very easy. So I'm just going to clean this off and stick to my two parts corset that I want to initially want to draft out. Yes, that's what I want for this corset I'll be making. So I'm just going to connect this dart line that I've marked out before I cleaned it. I'm going to connect it back again. So I hope this didn't confuse you. I hope it was very easy for you to understand. It's actually very easy. Sometimes just sit down and play with um, a pattern paper or a fabric. And you know the benefit of having a pattern paper is because once you've um, your measurements are accurate and you've drafted, drafted out your corsets, there's no need of you drafting again. You can just keep it, especially when you have a customer that loves corsets. Just keep the patterns once you've cut them out so whenever the customer comes and say okay i want to sew so so tie and then it involves corset all you have to do is to bring it out from here you kept it and you know use it to draft out the cut out the fabric so you see that's just the benefit of you know so we're going to go to for yoke in case you want a yoke so we're going to place a neckline so i'm placing three inches three inches there and for the depth um okay i think i'll just place it at three inches for the depth as well of the neckline especially if you are using a um an illusion net or a mesh net it's best if you just use small measurements for your neckline so i'll mark out half an inch here uh, sorry a slant on this shoulder so if you want this kind of um um yoke on the pic this picture just use leave it like this but if you want this kind of yoke with an opening you just connect like so it's very easy so you see that's how you cut it so you just connect like so it's very easy just create the neck um chest length line and what's it called 
you want for the yoke, the kind of pattern you want for the yoke. Or you can even come like so if you want this kind of so it, this kind of um a style for the yoke. So whichever you want for the yoke, you can just you know do it, um, mark it out. So it's very easy. So right now I am going to cut out the dots. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to cut out the dots. So like I earlier stated, if you do not understand how to draft at the back, I will drop a link on the description box so you would watch how to draft it out from the video I made on how to um draft at a corset using your bra cup yeah so it's not that difficult remember if you want to put a loop at the back or use an eyelet you can actually um go deduct um uh, cut um deduct two inches from your back basic bodies that is you're going to cut exactly the back basic bodies but you're going to cut off the chest line to the shoulder that is useless and then you're going to um, minus two inches from the back basic bodies. But please keep watching how I am cutting this out. But if you want to add zip, you add two inches at the center back. I hope I'm making sense. So that's just it, guys. It's very simple. It's very simple. Most times why I advise, I'm going to cut it like so. Yeah. So please just pay close attention to how I am cutting it. Yeah, just please close attention to how I am, how I am cutting it. It's very easy, yeah. Very, very easy. Very easy. Corset is not meant to be difficult. Mm. So, I'm going to cut it out like so you no know, this is the new arm o we formed so i'm going to cut like so arm o for the corset precisely so i'm going to go ahead and cut out the bra cup from the yoke so guys that is it you get drafting a corset it's it's easy just put your mind to it and you can do it don't be scared about, okay, do it. You could just, okay, sew one for yourself. Try it like two or three times and sew like two or three times for yourself. And you see, you are, you'll be very good at it. You might even come up with easier ways. So this bra cup, I'm going to cut out this upper dart. So you can see we are already um, progressing. The reason why I didn't get to draft out the back on this video is because this video is super lengthy. Yeah. And the back is what most people can actually do. So you can see the bra up. If you want to sew, you're just going to fold it like this and sew like so. Then it's going, it's going to come out curvy. You're going to love it. So that's it, guys. This is the yoke, actually. So... You can decide to just leave it like so to form that first kind of yoke. So let's cut out the neck. So the reason for slanting this shoulder part is because the shoulder is not blunt. The shoulder is slanty. So yeah, because if you do not slant the shoulder like so, it's it's going to make your sleeve look standy, like in standing in standing order. <laughs> I don't know how best to explain. So I'll cut it off like so because um I want to achieve the last picture I showed you on yoke. Yeah. So that this is it. It's it's very, very simple. So you can form any curve you want with it. It's your it's your yoke, it's your star. You can form any curve you want. I've seen some kind of you know beautiful um kind of patterns on the yoke. It's always comes out beautiful beautiful after drafting your corset pattern don't throw it away just keep it aside in one part of you know your wardrobe or your cupboard um at your tailor's um tailoring shop or wherever you sew just keep it so that whenever you need it you use it so this is the loop i was talking about you can see the space at the back so for this the left two inches 
for this other picture it's one inch that the left at part and um, that it dotted so you can also use a modesty panel to panel to cover the space at the back if you don't want your back to show so if you've watched this video to this extent and you are yet to hit the subscribe button what are you waiting for man <laughs> what are you waiting for come on hit the subscribe button so i'm just trying to arrange this together so you get to see and mm, don't forget to like yeah and don't forget to share and drop your comments as well mm -hmm. i love it when we talk yeah yeah <laughs> so this is it guys this is it so when you're cutting out on your fabric make sure your fabric is unfolded and when you're cutting it out and make sure you leave half an inch all through when you're cutting it out so this is it so if it's three parts where you see you call that curve so that is it then it's gonna be like so so this is it guys this is it it's very easy very very easy it's actually very easy so I hope this was very easy for you to understand i hope it was very easy for you to understand so if you do not want the um mind you remember i said half an inch yes when you're cutting it on the fabric leave half an inch all through that's for the sewing allowance like you know attaching it you know we have to do some cuttings here so attaching it and join them together you need the allowance so you would not um intrude into the actual measurements <laughs> so if you don't want your yoke you can actually um, leave that out that's yeah if you just want a tube so this is it for the corset so this is the corset which adds the yoke for these you can see so this is the pattern so this is the pattern it's very very easy to draft very easy to draft so if you want the yoke this is it this is how you'd attach it hmm. so this is it guys it's very easy it's very easy very easy so for but for this when i'm going to sew it i'll drop a video um a link on the description box on how to actually put all of this together sew all of this together i'll drop it on the description box yeah so that's it guys it's very 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 easy so see ya mm -hmm.